hello hi hola bonjour and welcome back to curvy miller's world so this video today is me showing you guys how i created this makeup look for dark skin girls i'm heading off to a wedding reception so i thought i might as well record something and show you guys how i do my makeup i'm gonna make sure i put all of the items i use in the description bar below so you guys can see or go and buy whatever you like from this video anyway so don't forget to subscribe click like comment and share this video and leave any positive comments down below and don't forget to click that bell icon button so you know when i upload any videos So here guys, I'm starting off with my Remel or Remel eyebrow pencil in the shade Dark Brown. So what I usually do is just basically just colour my eyebrows. I like when it's a little bit darker because some of it is a bit um, like sparse. Looks a bit gappy, but yeah. As you guys might have noticed by now, one eyebrow is a little bit thinner than the other one. Unfortunately, I decided I wanted to try and do my eyebrows myself when I can get to the shop so <laughs> they're looking a bit a bit crazy so I have to fill that one out a bit more so it kind of matches the other one but well, you see how I fix it so it doesn't look too obvious later on in the video so here I've got this barium take a brow shape and define brow gel this was my very first time using it I just wanted to see what it does it kind of just makes it less dark and harsh that makes any sense you'll see later on in the video it doesn't look so like yeah I can't explain it it doesn't look so like wet and like pop painted on but I'm so I'm still trying to review it and figure out do I want to use it or not I use to define my eyebrows is the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Chestnut which is the next shade down from my skin tone according to the chart and I just really take my time to do this and actually draw underneath it and then sometimes I'll bring the concealer down to my eyelids when I'm gonna wear eyeshadow but if not depending on how I feel I will use the one that matches my skin tone so yeah, I just use one of these brushes. I will link the brushes down below where I got them from. It's a Rio collection from Argus. I'm not too keen on it. I do prefer the um, I do prefer the Real Techniques brushes. They are literally the bomb, and I get mine from eBay, guys. You can see I'm literally just going across to take away some of the excess. Sometimes I get a bit heavy-handed and like put so much on my eyebrows. I take my time and just. Some people use an angled brush. I literally use whichever brush I feel comfortable with using that day. And I go with my foundation brush to make sure there's not too much product like just chilling there, especially in this heat. You don't want so much stuff on your face. So next is this Revolution Luxury Banana Powder, which is I'm trying for the very, very first time. I got in the, well, they only had a few left on the shelf. So I got the one that looks most yellow and that will hopefully work for my skin. So what I do, I just wet my Beauty Blender, my Real Techniques Beauty Blender, and I then dip, dip it in the top, in the lid, if that makes any sense and then just pat it on my eyelid so it can set the concealer. So yeah, I just pat that on and then I realize 
like what on earth why is there so much on my eyelid so I just kind of just had to just go with the flow and just you know try to deal with it like I'm a makeup professional which I'm not so yeah after I go with another brush and literally just dust it all off so it goes like more matte then so now here is another LA girl pro concealer in the shade dark cocoa which matches my skin what I like to do is put that one on top so my eyebrows don't look too like crazy if that makes any sense well, of course it makes sense so I don't put it I don't put the um, the lighter shade on the top sometimes this was going trying to go for a really natural look and just you know a bit subtle I know right now it looks quite light anyway but um, I have got lights on so everything's a little bit more refined yeah so what I do I just keep going over it to try and spread the product and not let it all stick in one place and just yeah bring it all out so I forgot to you know lava and moisture up my lips I like to use Blistex um, also everyone knows about this a bit of Carmex I use that also so I bought this new eyeshadow palette so this palette is called Violet at the moment they've got quite a lot in Superdrug with like different little chocolate colours in the front I was trying to go for something different than the one I normally use so I really like this palette I'm not really a fan of purple but they had a few some nice colours in there so so first I'm going to start off by using the shade Idolize on my eyelid it, when I realised um, that it very much looks like my concealer when I start putting it on but um, I'm not a pro at this I'm still learning as the days go by so I thought you know what might as well show you guys what I try and do so next I then go in with the colour Expedite that's the one, it's got expedite. So I then tried to put that in my crease. Keyword trying. You know, what, I'm not even gonna downplay myself. I feel like this came out quite nice. So I put the colour expedite in the crease of my eyes to make it a bit dark. I think I should have done that at the end, but you know, like I said, learning, learning, learning. And I just continue to blend and blend and blend as these beauty gurus say. You see, don't want it to be looking like some, I don't know, like a 13. You know when you used to be, when you was 13 years old and you're just playing the makeup? So like I said before, I just took my time and just added more and more and just basically just went for the blending technique. Just add and blend, add and blend and just keep brushing it in. So you don't want harsh lines, you don't want to look like your little sister done it for you or you know you just ain't got a clue about makeup. So yeah, girl just keep blending that damn eyeshadow so you won't be looking crazy in these streets so if you guys see me talking not mad I am talking to my friend while I'm doing my makeup and it was nothing relevant to do with this video so obviously I had to do a voiceover so you people can listen to my lovely annoying voice contradiction that wasn't it yeah <laughs> As you can see, I'm going back and forth to each eye to try and make sure it's even and they look very similar because, like I said, I do not want to be looking crazy. So I've now gone in with a different colour, so I started to use a more of a flatter brush to like pat it on because I didn't want it to go everywhere and like I said, girls still learning, you know, so just 
trial and error you guys can try and error with me so I just put it on to like give a bit more color to the eye and make it look a bit bright-eyed and bushy-tailed so I realized I forgot to show you guys the color so the color I used was mulberry it's okay I don't know like a burgundy sort of color as you can see I've got another brush and just started to just blend it out a bit or is it the same brush god I don't even know just adding more and then blend it out a bit so it looks decent you know or at least half decent so like I said this took me some time but I just really really wanted to look good for the people in wedding You just blend and blend and blend I don't know I feel like it came out all right please comment down below and let me know what you think if I need some more help so next up we have our eyeliner this eyeliner is very new to me anyway I have never used this one before it is the collection 2000 from Superdrug called extreme 24 hour felt tip liner I am so terrible at eyeliner sometimes. Look how close I have to get and just look. And how much time does one person need to blink, please? Cha. Just keep your eyes still so you can draw an eye. But um, yeah, this felt tip thing, I'm not too keen on it to be honest, but it's okay. It does the job and it just yeah, it makes it a little bit easier for me anyway. And I think that is pretty much my eyes done did it done let's see I'm trying to go back in and try to perfect this this eyeliner business obviously you do it on both eyes you can't just have eyeliner on one eye So where I'm not so good at eyeliner, I literally just keep going over and over and taking my sweet, sweet time to make sure that it looks somewhat decent. Because you don't want to rush it and you have to do a whole eye again and that always is a long process. So yeah, next I'm going to use my Collection 2000 Extreme Mascara. First time using this as well, I don't really use mascara that much. But just put that on to take out some of the eyeshadow out of my short little eyelashes. Now I'm going to use one of my favourite primers ever, or the only primer that I use, L'Oreal Paris Infallible Mattifying Base Primer. This primer is so freaking good. I recommend it to two of my friends now because we all have like oily skin it's really good and then with this Bobbi Brown full cover oil free control liquid foundation let me tell you the best thing that's why I'm doing that little face it's so good my skin is hella oily but this makeup here no word of a lie does the best so I just put on a few pumps I say a few pumps, they're like little little things, they're not full pumps because they don't. this doesn't really come out of full pumps anyway. This bottle is actually finishing so what I do sometimes is open it up and then just take some out because obviously there's loads in there you know. So what I did, I forgot to use my LA Girl Pro Concealer in the colour Orange Corrector. I like to use this on my dark spot. If I don't use this, then I use the same LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Dark Cocoa to cover all my dark marks and stuff. And you know, to as much as this makeup is good, I still like to just make sure I've gone that little bit of extra mile. So I'm using this um, small foundation brush, which is the Real Techniques one I was talking about earlier. I'm just using it to spread out the colour correction. I don't normally do it this way. I put on the colour correction first and then the foundation. And literally I just spread that out. So 
it's not clumped in one place and then I try and try then I blend it in with my wet Real Techniques Beauty Blender which is the Bomb Diggity and once that is done I then go in with any foundation brush or like that for that day and just spread my makeup all over my face like it's spreading a goddamn cake with icing that's literally how I feel most times when I do my makeup So obviously I make sure all areas are covered and it doesn't stop underneath my chin and even a harsh line like I've got a goddamn mask on. I went in and added a bit more because I could see where the brush had not done the job properly and the left little strokes yeah, and the brush basically just sucked out a lot of the makeup. So what I do then I go in with my beauty blender again and just dab a little bit on there up a little bit I then dab the beauty blender all over my face to obviously blend out the makeup and not leave any brush strokes until I make it a little bit more perfect and then I go in with another favorite of mine the L'Oreal infallible mixing mist to make my face wet to help me make sure that makeup is just spread evenly and it does the job so this spray, you can use it before, during and after your makeup. Sometimes this takes a bit longer, just going, can you see like, yeah, the makeup this is on the spread sometimes, so literally you have to just dab, 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 all over. again with the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the colour Chestnut to do my highlight so I squeeze a little bit and then make a little face shot emoji face and then I put some underneath my eyes I don't really have a shape that I do I just put it on whatever I feel like because it ends up spreading all over the well all underneath my eye anyway and then a little bit up there the reason why I don't put so much on my forehead because I have a large forehead big forehead gang so <laughs> I just put a little bit because I don't want my forehead to look any bigger than it is to be honest and then again with the same wet beauty blender and literally just blend and blend and blend and make that go all out keep blending it until it literally blends in obviously I fast for the video because otherwise you guys have been sitting here for a very very goddamn long time to be honest with you you just keep blending that bad boy until it looks like it's blended out so yeah when I do that forehead bit yeah literally just try and just dab in the middle without spreading it too far out and then LA Girl Pro Concealer again in the colour Mahogany to do contour. And then you got to chisel up your face. So I like to put that bit on the top of my forehead. So it makes my forehead look a little bit smaller, you know? Like I said, big forehead gang, but not every day promote the big forehead. Especially with hairstyles like this. So yeah, then I use another Rio brush and just Keep blending and blending that in. I didn't think this brush was the best thing to use. I like to use the Real Techniques contour brush to do that, which I prefer so much more. So you know the Revolutions setting setting powder. I'm using that to set the concealer before it starts to crease up. Um, sometimes I put a lot sometimes I don't I have never used this one before so I didn't put a lot but now I know I can put more to make sure everything that's set you get me and then you just let it bake 
in this bacon face. I'm so cheap. I'm trying to put it back in there. <laughs> Mainly because I didn't have a bin next to me, so I didn't know where to dust it off. But I guess it worked. I have a little baby wipe next to me every time I do my makeup so I can wipe my hands off. So now I'm going with a clean brush. If not, I use my powder powder foundation brush to blend it all out and rub it out. So literally, I literally brush and brush and brush so I can't see no harsh white lines. Then now Bobbi Brown again, this is a skin weightless powder foundation in the colour chestnut number 9 and literally just put that all over my face to take away any harsh lines between highlight, contour and everything else. I put my eyelashes on off camera because I found it really difficult to put them on so I just added a bit more mascara onto these natural looking eyelashes I got off eBay. If I can find the link I'll link it down below for you guys that would like to purchase them. Um, so yeah, mixing, fixing spray again all over the face as I stuff my face and eat. Let that dry. So now I'm using a Revolution Vivid Baked Bronzer. Like I, I use it as a highlighter basically. So I put it in the corner of my eye and a few other places. So I can just be shining, 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 shining. Oh, like that. Listen, I just want to be glistening from every goddamn angle. So I need the arch of my eyebrow. And then I use my lovely fan brush, which is from the Rio collection, again from Argus. And just use that to shimmer, shimmer my cheeks. I add more if I feel like I need to, or if not, I just leave it sometimes, depending on how I'm feeling and how shining I want to be. Some on the bridge of my nose, and then some on the top lip. So then I go back in most times and just keep blending it all out so it looks like a transition, not like I just threw it on there and left it. So I'm laughing because I thought I recorded this for you guys and clearly I did not do that. So what I used was a MUA from Superdrug dark brown eyeliner because I didn't have any lip liners. And then I went in with my L'Oreal Paris Lip Paint Matte in the colour Nude on Fleek 209. And then after I did that, I then went in with my favourite lip gloss at this moment from Primark. It's called P.S. My Perfect New Nourishing Lip Gloss. Um, love this goddamn thing. Love it, love it, love it, love it. My favourite. I'll carry it every day with me. And I have about three of them because they're so cheap. And then we're finished. guys please do not forget to click like subscribe to my channel leave some comments down below and don't forget to share with family and friends also follow me on social media curvy miller on insta twitter snapchat don't forget to watch my last video as you can see thank you so much for tuning in hope you all have a blessed day